Hey, welcome to String and Story. My name is Holly Ann Knight and it's my job to guide you to quilt with confidence. Today I'm going to show you how to join three hexagon shaped blocks with a Y seam. This technique will be particularly useful for my new quilt pattern, Aldebaran. And if you work from the top left of the quilt to the bottom right, you'll find that you can do almost all of your seams with this basic Y seam and avoid having to piece a shape in on three sides. However, if you do find that you need to piece a hexagon in on three sides, you follow the exact same principles, you'll just have an extra seam. All right, let's get started. The first thing that you'll do is the horizontal seam between the top block and the lower block. The block that's off to the side will join in a minute. Now if you're working on my Aldebaran pattern, you'll note that I have included pressing directions in the pattern so that when you lay these two blocks right side together, the seams will nest. This is also handy because when doing Y seams, you'll want to start and end one quarter inch from that nested seam and your pressed seams create a handy guide. So start by pinning these blocks together so that they're nice and lined up. And then we're gonna sew one quarter inch from that edge, again, starting and ending a quarter inch from the nested seams. And I recommend doing a little bit of back stitching at the beginning and the end, just because we're gonna be manipulating these seams a lot. We wanna make sure that they don't come loose as we stitch. Tip. Back stitch a bit at the beginning and end of your seams when doing Y seams because you're going to handle them a lot and you want them to be secure. Now here you can see I've sewed my seam and as I mentioned before, I've started in a bit on the sides. I've also pressed the seam up, which seems counterintuitive because of the paper piecing that's going on here and that makes this seam itself bulky, but by pressing it up, you'll see it's going the opposite direction as the seam on the hexagon that we're piecing it together with. This is really important because it's going to help us reduce bulk. You can see I now have these seams spinning down, up, and at an angle so that they're all going to nest together once this seam um, is completed. In the meanwhile, you will find as you put these seams together that it will nest with one or the other. Now this hexagon is going to be placed to the right of the two that we've already paired. Um, and so you'll see that it's going to nest in quite nicely right here. Now I'm folding this hexagon up first. Here I'll lay this flat so you can see. See how I'm flipping this hexagon up onto its, this orange one above it. Now some of these, as you piece them together, you'll need to flip it down to do the nested seam first. It's just going to depend on how the hexagons fall in relation to one another. Um, and just check those nested seams. Do the nested seam side of the Y seam first. It will be a lot easier um, that way to make sure that you've got everything lined up. You can see I'm gonna nest those seams. I'm gonna click them together with my fingers just like I did the last seams and pin right through that seam. And then over on the other side, they're not going to nest. And so I will just line those up, gently shake these boxes so that they even up. And I will also pin these, very carefully lining up those seams. And I will sew these as before, leaving a quarter of an inch on either side. Now you can see how neatly these points have lined up from our last seam. When I decided how to press this, I simply continued this pattern, I, once again, of spinning my seams as much as possible. You can see that this will be a bit of a break in the spin right here in order to get those seams to nest, and that's okay. Um, with all of these pieces coming together, getting uh, you know perfectly spun seams on every time, I'm not even sure that it's mathematically possible, but we wanna follow that pattern as much as we can. Now, in order to line up this final piece, we're going to fold this pink hexagon exactly as we did before. Now you see this seam line already exists and that's the line that we're gonna gently fold this hexagon on to make sure that everything gets nice and lined up. Simply, I'm gonna use my fingers to, 
not unpress the seam so much as just kind of temporarily flatten it out. And I'm going to line up these seams. And this time, I'm going to get a little bit of a nest. Sorry, guys. Slightly out of camera there. And come peek over here to make sure everything's lining up as neatly as possible. Now the tricky thing on this part is I'm making decisions about where these other seams go and I'm going to choose to stack them up on top of each other and I can feel the tricky thing with these seams is that they don't line up like this one back behind here. They don't nest all the way down. You're just matching them up right at this edge because of how these angles work. All right, so I've lined up pink and blue and my paper piece uh, bit from my orange is going to fall flat on the back and I'm gonna stick a pin through there. And then I will come over here and line up my pink and blue. Again, they're not gonna line up all the way down because those lines don't actually run parallel all the way down. You can see I've got a little bit of stretch happening because these are bias edges, so I want to be very careful about that as I'm sewing this. Now this seems a little different because I'm actually going to start over here on the orange and go across all those pieces of fabric and then end about a quarter of an inch over here as I have been doing for this final seam. So this one's a little different because I want to cinch all that up nice and tight where all these... On the third seam, start stitching before the intersection to secure all the pieces together. And here we are, our finished seam. So you can see, as I mentioned before, the spin is imperfect, but everything lays down nice and flat. You can see where the seams have been nested, where you have ones going in opposite directions, and then the seam across here where we simply lined up our edges. And for the final reveal, dun da 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 a nice flat Y seam. We can just hardly believe that all of those have come together at a Y. Good sharp points, almost perfect alignment, perfectly excellent.